Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to quickly do a um, tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware on your, your robotic um, lawnmower. Um, so as you can see here I'm using the Mac version but the Windows app is exactly the same. So it does support the Rob S model and the Rob R model. Um, so as you can see here, so I've opened and uh, downloaded this app from the uh, main website. Uh, so I'll put that in the description so you know where to go. Um, it is quite straightforward but you do need a few things and I had to buy a, an extra a USB cable because uh, it's not just USB type A it's uh, type B so you'll see this in here so as you can see here we've got a few instructions you need to go through first so if we click on my model that's the Rob S um, so as you can see underneath here also is the latest uh, firmware so you can check on your actual robot mower by going into the settings actually on the device it's like a cog icon and then going to um, about and then you'll be able to see this here where it says the software package you'll see this displayed and then you'll look at the, the numbers afterwards so my one currently is uh, sitting around at 20-5 um, um, so this one now is 22-3 uh, uh, so you can see this is an actual upgrade so as we said there's a few things you need to do first so if we click on here it's quite good it gives you a video and demonstrates so it does show you here you need to switch it off first to make sure um, to hold down the power button and you do need to turn the cutter um, height all the way down to the lowest position um, then also you need to make sure your battery is at a minimum of 50% and then you've got the USB type A to B uh, cable and this is what I had to buy um, and I'll put a description um, where I bought it on Amazon or you can buy it from anywhere really but um, Amazon was the cheapest when I saw it and also you need a it, it's not just a normal uh, screwdriver it's sort of like a star shaped as a T20 so lucky enough I've got like a tool, little tool driver um, kit and it's got all the different adapters so I do have that as well so just be wary you need these extra two things here um, next as it shows you here you need to then afterwards turn it over and you can see here you've got the two T20 screws you need to undo and then this flap underneath will uh, pop up and then you'll be able to see the USB type A port underneath again I had to clean my up um, don't forget you probably have a lot of grass and mud perhaps underneath there so it's best to brush it outside before you bring it actually indoors or it will cause a lot of mess and then finally um, as it says here what you have to do is plug it into the cable into the bottom of the actual um, robot mower and then put the other po uh, USB type A into your laptop or compute desktop computer in my case and then you switch it on uh, you the mower actually you switch it on with the power button and then it should auto connect you'll see here right where it currently says mower status not connected um, so once you've connected um, you'll automatically go through so now I'll just do show you a quick video of me undoing the actual uh, mower the T20 screws um, and going through the process like it demonstrated here so as you can see here we now we'll move on to the actual plugging in and of the USB so as it said on the demonstrate you need to make sure first of all it's switched off so you hold down the power button so you can see the mower is now shutting down and uh, we can also we need to make sure we turn this all the way to the lowest setting so make sure it's all the way down there and now we'll turn it over so now we'll move on to actually undoing the screws so as it said there you do need a t20 uh, screwdriver if i can uh, focus if you can see so you can see it's like a star shape that's the so it's this screw and this screw here so as you see I can just clean it off a little bit so we can it's not that too much trouble to be honest it's only two screws uh, but I do say is that most people don't realize that you as anything this is a robot mower um, so of course it can uh, need software updates and they improve the algorithm and the way it starts cutting your grass so as you can see here you've got two clips here as well so you can actually uh, pull them back and you can open the flap so as we've pulled back to both the clips now as you can see one there and one there 
it actually lifts up the flap and you can lift it up and then just lay that on top um, or lay it to one side because you're going to have to turn over the, uh, the mirror again. As you can see here, this is the USB uh, type uh, A, uh, so we need to plug our cable in now. So as we said, you can see here the actual uh, USB uh, and I've got the cable here. So now I just, as I said, is I got this from uh, the uh, Amazon, so you just plug that in. So now you've plugged that in. We do have to turn it over, so just be careful of the cable. Um, it doesn't bend and anything like that because it is not exactly the sturdiest. So perhaps best best to uh, just leave it to the one side here and then uh, actually turn over the mower because we'll need to now switch it on once it's connected. So as it said now, we just make sure we uh, power it on. And if you do have a pin number, then you'll type that pin number in as you usual do and click OK. And then we'll move on now to actually plugging it into the computer. So now we have uh, completed all the tasks that we need to um, on the actual uh, mower. Now we need to plug the USB cable into the uh, computer. So I'll just plug that in. And then hopefully if we give it, you'll see a minute, you'll see it's now connected and uh, it will download it. You don't have to do anything, it automatically recognized it and it does tell you updates are available and you do give um, an option to retrieve a lost pin code as well. So if we just click on update firmware, and as it says here, don't disconnect the mower um, or close anything during programming. So don't touch the, the mower's menus or anything like that or do anything on a PC, especially with firmware, it's quite vital for the actual running of the uh, mower as well so if you do have any issues with the firmware sometimes it can corrupt um, and basically make your mower useless so just best to leave it won't take long as it sees here it's doing step one it downloads the actual new firmware and then copies it straight across and you'll probably see as well um, the symbol that's actually displayed on the uh, mower itself the little display will have a little um, download arrow as well so you know that it's actually upgrading the firmware and software and of course there's advantages for keeping it up to date so probably even every few months is worth checking um, just to see because it, they do add things like frost protection and uh, other algorithms to make you when you're cutting the grass into a pattern uh, and things like that that it makes it basically um, they fix all if there's any issues as well with bugs um, and also if they add any features within the app on your phone then that also you need to update the software on the mower as well so we're nearly finishing now so it's on step three um, so I believe it's just going through and restarting and downloading the firmware to your mower So as you can see here now the programming is finished and it gives you a confirmation which is good. You may also see on step 6 on your actual robot mower it might ask you for your pin number. So just leave that, don't enter your pin number, it might come uh, a display twice um, and just wait for it to restart uh, the mower and then until you see the program finished and then you can click OK um, then it comes back to this original screen. And then you can uh, now go back and you can disconnect. So as it's showing you here, you can now switch off your mower. Uh, you close the lid, disconnect the cable from your uh, laptop, PC or Mac. And then you disconnect the USB here as well. And basically it's reverse order. Make sure you tighten this down properly because you don't want, if it is wet grass you're going over, or in, you don't want anything getting inside there because that's where the actual computer board is. Um, and everything else so you want to make sure that's sealed down properly and cleaned probably best before you actually do anything and uh, that's it so um, it shouldn't take you too long and then the, the actual software update only takes five minutes 
So I'd say um, the most vital things is make sure you've got the right USB A to B cable and a T20 uh, screwdriver or like an adapter you like I've got and make sure it's 50% charged. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and this has been a quick um, basically going through how to on how to update your robotic mower. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.